This season has been one of struggle for these two sides. Galway United, promoted to the Aircom League Premier Division last season, have been less than prolific in front of goal, while Longford came to Terryland Park on the back of five straight defeats. This game had the look of a relegation dogfight on paper, but on the pitch the two sides provided an entertaining contest. Galway had their keeper Gary Rogers to thank when the ball ran through to Dave Freeman. Galway played with a 3-5-2 formation which troubled the visitors. The home side were in the ascendancy for long periods and O'Flynn's cross wasn't dealt with properly by John Martin but luckily for Longford, John Lester's shot went over the bar. Longford created several chances midway through the first half. A free kick wasn't dealt with properly and Rogers would have been a relieved man. In the 28th minute, Mark Rutherford's ball into Freeman brought the best out of Rogers. Freeman was having a busy evening for Longford. He got free of Wesley Charles, but his shot was a poor one and Galway had escaped the danger. Those close calls seemed to reawaken Galway and in the 32nd minute, Derek O'Brien flighted in a ball into Stephen O'Flynn, but the striker couldn't get his header on target. O'Flynn had another headed chance, this time from a corner, but remarkably the two sides went into half-time scoreless. The second half was much like the first, both sides creating several shooting chances. Galway started to build some pressure and a cross from Barry Moran created havoc in the Longford defence. O'Flynn finally got his goal with 11 minutes gone in the second half, heading Murphy's corner past Shea Kelly and Galway looked to be on course for a valuable three points. Alan Murphy was causing plenty of problems and he came close to getting another assist but Derek O'Brien at the back post finished poorly. Galway tried to sew up the game in the 70th minute when the two substitutes John Russell and Derek Glynn linked up but Kelly kept Longford in the match. The rebound fell to Barry Moran. He crossed to O'Flynn but once again Kelly was on hand. Russell was next to try his luck but he shot wide. The pressure really mounted on Longford when they were reduced to 10 men, Sullivan receiving his marching orders for a second bookable offence in the 78th minute. Longford weathered the storm and then scored an unlikely equaliser in the 82nd minute. Sean Prunty swung in the corner and Damian Brennan had his header cleared off the line by Colin James, only for Dave Mooney to bundle home the rebound. John Russell then tried to single-handedly get Galway back in front, O'Brien setting him up with his first chance. Three minutes from the end, he tried from distance, but Kelly made a comfortable save. The drama wasn't finished as an injury time referee, Richie Winter, awarded a penalty for a foul on Derek Glynn. Alan Murphy took the kick, which Kelly saved. Russell followed up, but his shot was awful. Kelly the hero, and Longford escaped with a point, their first of the season.